Taurus, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings. Tarot Readings from Heart. Thanks ever so much for joining me on your September 2019 reading. For your reading today, guys, we're using the Chiro Marchetti Tarot of Dreams. It's one of my newest decks. Beautiful, beautiful deck of cards. It is absolutely in love with this deck. Just the pictures, the illustrations are gorgeous. So we're going to use that. Uh, you've got a bonus reading sitting next door, how your ex feels about you. So if you want to check that out, please do. And let's get on with your reading, Taurus. So Universe Spirit, show me what's coming in for Taurus for the month of September 2018. What's coming in for Taurus for the month of September 2018? What's coming in for Taurus for the month of September 2018? What's coming in for Taurus for the month of September 2018? Summoning Rising Signs, show me. Okay. So let's split the deck one, two, and three into three like so. And I'm going to start putting down the cards and having a good look. All right. Um, so the situation for the month is about the Nine of Swords. Some of you guys might have been hurt. Some of you guys might have been stabbed in the back, for example. Nine of Swords also is about stabbing someone in the back, betrayed. So some of you guys might have, the situation might be about betrayal for the month. The situation might be about nervousness, fears. Sometimes you get the Nine of Swords, and this is like you don't even know what you're afraid about. You're just afraid. Some of you guys are lit, the energy around you for the month is about being fearful or being frightened. Uh, sleepless nights is the nine of swords sometimes uh, energy when this shows up but also as i've said it could be about betrayal now how are you handling this situation with the nine of swords energy uh, i think that you're a bit of a crossroads okay so this is you guys with the two of wands energy showing here you're showing us the two of wands i think that um because you're showing at the two of wands I don't think it's just that some of you guys are at a crossroads. Well, I don't think it's just as simple as saying that some of you guys are at a crossroads. There's something that you're obviously at a crossroads about, and that's what's making the energy around you nervousness. Nine of Swords. So now I actually think that the energy around you is nervousness because you guys are actually at a bit of a crossroads here. You're showing uh, Taurus as being the Two of Wands. Also, for some of you guys, you might be dealing with a couple of people here with this Two of Wands energy. You might have a decision to make on a couple of paths or a couple of people with the Two of Wands energy. And I think that this is why the situation for you is that there is nerves, there is fear around this with the Nine of Swords. Because the root issue is all about the Two of Pentacles and another number two. I think that you guys are trying to balance two things here. It might be that you're trying to balance two jobs, for example, with the Two of Coins energy. It might be that you're trying to balance two people. It might be money issues with the Two of Coins energy showing here. In the recent past, you guys have experienced the Ten of Cups. So that's happiness and satisfaction within a family situation, emotional satisfaction and contentment within family and friendships with the Ten of Cups energy. But also the Ten of Cups can be where something is now coming to the end of its cycle or has come to it at the end of its cycle. Your challenge is the Page of Cups. Your challenge, I think, is either a new job a new romance with the Page of Cups energy, or this could be a Pisces person, or just water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancerian. The challenge could be something like a child as well with the Page of Cups energy showing here. Or the Page of Cups in terms of a challenge can sometimes be naivety and not knowing enough. The most likely outcome for the month will be the Six of Cups. Uh, difficult one when I look at the picture on the Six of Cups, because Six of Cups usually shows an offer, or Six of Cups could be something to do with the past, or maybe the most likely outcome is something to do with children, for example, with the Six of Cups energy. Or the Six of Cups can be support as well. Uh, coming in, you guys are receiving. You've got the Six of Coins energy. There's an act of generosity, I think, Taurus, that's either going to be performed towards you or you'll be performing an act of generosity here with the Six of Coins energy. And influences coming in are the Eight of Wands. Lots of messages and communication coming to you with the Eight of Wands energy. Hopes or fears... Well, I think as a hope, it might be with the Page of Swords to learn something new with this Page of Swords energy. Uh, I think as a fear, maybe communication or something being delayed. The overall outcome is the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups could be a person or you guys opening your heart and being receptive to something or someone. Let's get some clarity on this. Why is uh, Taurus showing as being the Two of Wands? Why is Taurus? What's the situation about? Why is Taurus showing as being the Two of Wands? Well, I, I feel that um, you're in two minds. I think you have a decision between two paths. 
with the Two of Wands energy. And it's because you guys are feeling trapped, the Eight of Swords energy. So, and for some of you guys, it might be that this Two of Wands, this kind of, you know, um, uh, choice between the two paths that some of you guys have with this Two of Wands energy, it might be to stay where you are with the Eight of Swords energy in your comfort zone or with the other eight to walk away from it. Your intuition, though, is telling you that you need to... You're, 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 you're in your own head here. That's what's keeping you trapped. But your intuition is telling you that you need to let go of this safety zone that you're in with the Eight of Cups energy. For some of you guys, you're in two minds because you don't know whether you should walk away Eight of Cups from a trap. Or from a very limiting situation with the Eight of Swords energy. The Eight of Swords often references a prison. So you kind of think uh, in the month of September for some of you Taurians in a bit of a conundrum. Because it's either to stay where you are, which doesn't look very good to me because it's an Eight of Swords. Or it's to walk away and find a better path. Or it's to walk away from a situation that has kept you in bondage with the Eight of Swords for far too long. Now, the root issue, why everything is happening is because of the Two of Coins. And what's this Two of Coins about? What's the two of coins about? Well, you see, you've got the five of wands, and that's conflict and war. Worry is the five of wands. Uh, intensity. Tense situation with others. A group of warring people. Competition with the five of wands energy. I feel that the root issue is all about you guys trying to find some balance with these two of coins. Because the Two of Coins is all about trying to find balance. And it's about trying to find balance between two things. Okay? And I think that the reason that this is happening is because there is wars. For some of you guys, it might be that you've got warring people or warring factions within the family, within the home. The Four of Wands energy showing here. I also feel with the Two of Coins, it could be that you've got a decision to make. Again, this references decisions, Two of Coins. And it could be whether you stay fighting. So can you see the, the correlation between the cards? Your Two of Wands is showing that you're at a crossroads for some of you Taurians. And the crossroad is, should you stay in your prison? But it's a prison of your own making a lot of the time is the Eight of Swords. Or should you look for something better with the Eight of Cups energy showing here? And the Two of Pentacles, if this is a decision that you have between two things with the Two of Pentacles energy, it might be whether you should stay within a warring faction of people, a warring group. Or whether you should seek another opportunity. Because the door is open with the Four of Wands. So again, I keep seeing whether you should stay. It's almost like you've got this... It's almost like the reading is really trying to hone into you. With the external facts are showing you guys are the Two of Wands. And the root issue being about the Two of Pentacles. Okay. Um, and I think with the Two of Pentacles also. This is not just about finding balance. But with that Five of Wands. The root issue with the Two of Pentacles is about trying to find that balance. Trying to find that kind of even kill within your life with the two of coins it's about with the five of wands whether you should carry on struggling whether you should carry on competing with others perhaps with the five of wands as well or whether you should walk towards an open door new opportunity with the four of wands energy showing here now in the recent past you guys have experienced the ten of cups and that should really be happiness and joy and emotional contentment within a family situation what's this ten of cups about in the recent past well, there's been an achievement here. Uh, the Ace of Coins. Uh, this could be something to do with... Uh, because you get the world energy. The world talks about a great goal that's been achieved. An achievement here, a massive achievement. Could be something to do with money. Ace of Coins is to do with money. It could be something to do with property. Because the first card is the Ten of Cups energy. So this might be the completion of a deal, for example. Maybe you've achieved something like something to do with property or something on an investment. Something to do with money with the Ace of Coins. So if you guys, it might be that you've achieved with the world energy a new job with the Ace of Coins energy. Showing here an offer of money. Something like that. But your challenge is the Page of Cups. And why is the challenge the Page of Cups? Why is the challenge the Page of Cups? I think that you guys have stopped waiting. It's an interesting reading. It looks like you've got the Nine of Wands. So your challenge is a page of cups. And I'm going to read that as a person. All right. So I think that you've got somebody around you who's probably quite... How can I put it? They, they, I think that they show as being quite... Not naive, but quite childish. I think your challenge is a person. I think that your challenge is... Um, 
uh, I'll read it two ways. I think number one, the challenge might be a very kind of immature individual with that Page of Cups energy. I think the other way to read this Page of Cups is that your challenges in your fantasy, in your ideals, in your dreams of the Page of Cups, because it's almost like you've decided to give up. You've either decided to give up on an opportunity or you've decided to put your helmet down. This shows up for a lot of the signs, but whenever I see the Nine of Wands in a reading on the Chiro Marchetti, you can see that the charioteer or the gladiator has now put his helmet down. He's not fighting anymore. So I think that the challenge is this Page of Cups energy. And this might be a person, but it also might be keeping a dream alive for some of you guys with the Page of Cups energy. Because the situation is, it looks like you guys have given up. Okay, you've either, if, if the page comes as a person, you've given up, I think with the Nine of Wands energy, you're not fighting anymore for somebody that you see as lacking commitment, or somebody who might be a fool, or somebody who seems to uh, not be quite serious, or it might be that you've decided to put the helmet down, you're no longer to work, uh, willing to fight for a new opportunity or a new path with this full energy, because I'm seeing that you're not willing to fight for this to come in. There's something that you're looking to come in, there's something that you're looking to take place in your life, Taurus, but it's not happening here. And it's almost like you've given up on it. And this is why. And if you look at the two cards here as well, you've got your situation being the Nine of Swords, but look at why the Nine of Swords is looking. I love these cards, because how this Nine of Swords lady is looking, it's like she fears this person. She's worried with the Nine of Swords. She's looking straight across at that page. Okay. And some of you guys, it might be... I mean, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out what this is about. Because it's just like, it's, there's several things that I'm looking at here in this reading, and it's just like there's different factions of the reading. Different factions of the reading. You know, I almost get the impression that this is about um, you guys trying to progress, Taurus, but you're not getting anywhere with it. You're not getting anywhere with it. Therefore, the Page of Cups for me wouldn't be a person. It would probably be a dream, because the Page of Cups is a dreamer. The Page of Cups can also be a trainee situation. So some of you guys, your challenge might be in training or getting some training with the Page of Cups because the situation is that you guys have given up hope, Nine of Wands energy, on ever getting this new opportunity to come to you. So your challenge might be holding that dream alive because it's all with the Page of Cups. Because I do feel that you've given up on with the Nine of Wands. You're no longer waiting. Nine of Wands on the right of weight is about waiting. But the nine of wands on here is this person's no longer waiting. They're sitting down, they're just like, you know what, well, actually I'm knackered. I'm tired of waiting for this opportunity to come through. So I think that your challenge is with the page of cups energy, keeping that dream alive. Because you're tired of waiting for this particular opportunity to come through. And that's why the energy around you for the month, the situation is worry, nervousness, the nine of swords. I'm going to see what this is about. What's this about the nine of swords? Why is the situation the nine of swords for Taurus in the month of... Uh, in the month of September 2018. Um, well, I think it's because of an emperor. You've got the emperor showing here. So the reason that you're worried is because of an emperor. Okay. And this emperor, I think is a person. I'm not sure what this is. Emperors are establishments, they're people, okay? Uh, this person might have communicated with you with the Page of Wands energy. The Emperor is communicating with the Page of Wands energy. They communicated with you about a really good opportunity with the wheel. I think that you're worried because this Emperor communicated with you that there would be a really good opportunity with the wheel of fortune energy showing up here. But I think that this opportunity is blocked. Because you've got the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands is a blockage card. Or the opportunity is no longer happening. Or the opportunity is being rejected with the Wheel of Fortune and that Seven of Wands energy. So it's almost like the energy around you guys is that you're worried. Because now this person is communicating, this Emperor is communicating with the Page of Wands energy. That this opportunity, this brilliant opportunity with the Wheel of Fortune, it's now being blocked. It's now been refused with the Seven of Wands. I don't know whether it's the Empress fault though. It's almost like somebody tried getting something for you but they couldn't get it in the end. It's almost like their, their efforts were blocked by maybe a higher force here. But then it could be the Emperor as well. This could be the higher force. Emperors usually show as people who are in complete control. 
complete control. So it might be that the Emperor communicated that an opportunity you were going to go for with the Wheel of Fortune energy has now been blocked with the Seven of Wands. I think actually it's the Emperor that said, let's put a halt to this opportunity. I think there was an opportunity that you guys were meant to go for. I really do. I think there was an opportunity you were meant to go for, but the opportunity was taken away at the last minute. Now, the most likely outcome will be the Six of Cups. And I think that this is nurturing and kindness that you guys will receive with the Six of Cups. Or well, this is something to do with the past. What's this Six of Cups about? I think that somebody is going to give you a chance. I think that somebody, you're going to receive a lot of care, a lot of love with the Six of Cups. This could also be a past opportunity that coming back around with the Six of Cups energy. Because I'm seeing an Empress here. Can you see how the Empress has the baby? Whenever, whenever I dream of babies, Taurus, uh, it's always about new opportunities. So somebody's giving you an opportunity. I think that somebody's giving an opportunity. I think I see you with the Five of Cups. I think that somebody's trying to help you here. You're going to be nurtured. Somebody's going to offer you a lot of help here. Somebody's going to offer you some generosity or an opportunity. So if there's an opportunity being offered to the person who's, you know, disappointed. I'm seeing that somebody's going to offer you. Somebody's going to try and, with this Empress energy... They're going to try and, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, remedy the situation as it were. So I'm seeing a remedy coming in because I'm seeing with the Six of Cups, this could be in family as well. Six of Cups is a family card. Most likely outcome will be about family as well for some of you guys because somebody here with this Empress energy is going to give you a lot of nurturing and care because you're very disappointed in this situation and how it's occurred. Some of you guys really did feel that you were on the up. You really did feel that you had an opportunity coming to you. But I think that that opportunity has been crashed at the last moment. I think a higher up person has said, no, this cannot go ahead. And therefore, it's kind of cut this opportunity dead. And I, But I am seeing the Six of Coins, you guys being offered. You're being given something here, Six of Coins. What's the Six of Coins about? What's the Six of Coins about? Justice in work. You've got justice. You're being given justice. So you guys are being offered. Can you see the Six of Coins? There is a gift that is coming to you guys here. But the gift is about you the, a writing off a wrong with the justice energy showing here. And this is within the work. Workplace, for example. So this might be you guys going on this new training scheme or something like that. Because the Eight of Coins is about study as well. And justice is about the writing off a wrong, for example, in terms of the work that you do with the Eight of Coins. So I'm seeing the situation coming back around. So I feel that you shouldn't give up so much hope on this Taurus. Because even though I think that your problems have been, you know, not your problems, your opportunities have been thwarted by an emperor. I'm seeing somebody here who said no. We can't give Taurus the opportunity now. So it might be that you were looking at going on some training or something and the training opportunities were, you know, dispelled. Or it might be that this was about a promotion or something and they decided not to promote you or they decided to take the promotion, the job off the job board or something. But I'm seeing you guys getting justice for the work that you do. I think with the justice energy as well, there's a gift coming because with the justice energy, I feel that there's recognition here with the justice energy for the work that you do coming from a particular person here. The Eight of Wands comes in, lots of messages for you guys. What's the Eight of Wands about? Or this is flow or uh, change, rapid change. What's the Eight of Wands about? The Chariot. So I'm seeing a lot of messages coming to you guys with the Eight of Wands energy. There's going to be an opportunity that comes with that. This is about a victory, things moving forward again. But it's almost like you're not certain whether you want to take it now with the Four of Cups energy. Also, I'm seeing an opportunity coming forward for you to consider because the Four of Cups is about consideration. So I'm seeing lots of messages coming in, Eight of Wands, and this will be with the Chariot energy. The arrival with the Chariot energy showing here. Movement forward of an opportunity that you might want to consider here. I'm not sure whether it's the same opportunity, but there's definitely an opportunity coming to some of you guys. Your hopes or fears, Page of Swords, this might be delayed communication or things taking time. What's the Page of Swords about? I think that there is a person here who's going to put a problem. They're going to put a halt on the situation. They're going to create problems with the devil energy. Because you've got this King of Wands showing here. So this is the person here. But this person's creating problems. This person has you on a leash. This person has you in bondage. So it might be that your fears are with the Page of Swords energy. That this situation, whatever it is that you are being offered in the month of September 2018. Your fear is with the Page of Swords that it's going to take time to come to fruition. With the Page of Swords. Okay. 
because the prodigals can talk about delayed communication. So it might be your fears as well. What if this takes a long time to manifest? What if it takes a long time for me to hear back about this? Because this King of Wands, and I'm reading this King of Wands as being possibly being the Emperor dude showing here. This King of Wands seems to want to create problems. This King of Wands probably wants to keep me where I am. Okay, somebody you feel doesn't want you to rise in the ranks. However, we've got the Queen of Cups. Somebody is offering this to you. Queen of Cups is an offer card. Shows when somebody has the cup open. What's the Queen of Cups about in the outcome? Or this is, if this is a work situation, this is somebody in HR with the Queen of Cups energy. I think that this is about... Um, An offer, another offer coming to you. I think there's an offer on the table with the Queen of Cups energy showing here. And that offer is all about the Knight of Swords. But it's phasing out of that Three of Coins. Knight of Swords you can read as an exit card, or Knight of Swords can be that you read it as a, a pursuing of something, pursuing of a goal with the Knight of Swords energy. Because you've got it with the Three of Coins. Three of Coins is about a project. I think that this Queen of Cups is offering her suggestion. I think there's somebody here offering a suggestion to you that you should exit this particular project or leave with the Knight of Wands, Knight of Swords energy. I don't know whether it's to leave the job because you're already saying to yourself, and the Three of Coins is a job. And the Knight of Swords is rushing out of it. So I think this is to exit the job. And I think the Queen of Cups energy in the overall outcome is somebody who's making that suggestion to you. I think the Queen of Cups with all the best women in the world is saying to you, she's holding her cup open, so she's offering you something, but she's offering you this. Which to me suggests a suggestion. The suggestion is that you should really exit this job or exit this project. Because the Knight of Swords is leaving the Three of Coins. So I think somebody's suggesting that actually... You, and, and this is what the problem was, I think, for some of you Taurians. That you didn't quite know what you should do. Because we'll quickly go through the reading again. Um, you guys in the month of September 2018 are at a crossroads, Two of Wands. Should you stay, trust up? Should you stay in a place, the Eight of Swords, in which you cannot progress? Or should you look for something better with the Eight of Cups showing up next door? Now the reason that everything is happening is... Because of the Two of Coins energy showing here. You have a decision. You're trying to balance your life out. But in doing that, you have a decision with this Two of Coins energy as well. And that decision is, should you carry on competing for what you want, where you are, Taurus? Or should you look for other opportunities with the Four of Wands energy? The door is open. Now, in the recent past, you guys have experienced the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups can be the ending of a cycle, but the Ten of Cups can be the greatest happiness. Perhaps that in your home life, everything is fine. Things are going really, really well. You have the greatest happiness with the world energy. Perhaps with the Ten of Cups energy showing up as well in the recent past, what you've seen is um, a really good opportunity, I think, with this Ten of Cups. could be where you work, or it could be with something else. But it's about the world, and the world is about, you know, a massive achievement, a massive goal. And that massive goal might be to do with a new job, for example, with the Ace of Coins energy showing here. So I, I get the impression that this is a work reading for some of you guys. And I feel that you guys here um, don't necessarily want to be where you are because the opportunities are low. You've seen a recent opportunity, I think, with this Ten of Cups in the world and the Ace of Coins. But your challenge is the Page of Cups energy. And that recent opportunity might actually still be where you work, actually looking at those cards. Because your challenge is the Page of Cups. With the Page of Cups, I think it's the dream that you have with this Page of Cups energy. For some of you guys, it might be further training with the Page of Cups energy being your challenge. Because you're tired, Nine of Wands, of waiting. And you've also given up on waiting for this new opportunity to come to you with the full energy. This new exploration within your work, a chance to progress, a chance to, a chance to better yourself. I think that you're tired of doing all of that. And that's why the energy around you, the situation for the month, will be 
Nine of Swords, a little bit of worry going on there. Because I think that you've heard on the grapevine, or it's been told to you face to face by this Emperor, because the Emperor is sending the message with the Page of Wands, that these amazing, or this amazing opportunity with the Wheel of Fortune energy has been put on hold, or it's been halted with the Seven of Wands. Or they've rejected this opportunity. So you can't move any forward. You can't move any way forward, Taurus. It almost feels to me on the reading that some of you guys are thinking, well, what's the point? What's the point of me being in this particular work? Because I can't progress. And every time I go for an opportunity to enhance myself, to improve myself within my work, every time I go for a training opportunity, it's halted. And I'm really tired of waiting for these opportunities to come forward. And now to top it all, the big guy, the top guy has said, you know, there's no more opportunities in this particular area. And all recruitment with the Wheel of Fortune has now been put on hold or it's been halted or it's been blocked. Seven of Wands is a blockage card. So it's almost like this Wheel of Fortune, your chances, your opportunities are being blocked because it's almost like somebody has decreed this. The Emperor has said with the Page of Wands, all opportunities, further opportunities with the Wheel of Fortune, they've now been blocked. And that's why for some of you guys are upset. But the most likely outcome will be the Six of Cups. Somebody likes you, whether it's in your family or whether it's in your work family. Because somebody's going to offer care. And I think that this is more than likely in your family, being that we've got the Six of Cups and this Empress here. The most likely outcome will be that even though I think for some of you guys the work situation isn't going very well, because all of the opportunities you're going for to improve yourself seem to be blocked by a higher power, I think that more than likely what you'll find is nurturing and kindness and support from family members. Because there's a mother here bringing you food, toast, soup, tea, coffee, chocolate, whatever it is that you want, because you've been suffering. So this person wants to offer kindness and support to the person who's suffering. And I think that some of you guys have been suffering, because it almost feels like all of your chances, you guys feel like all of your chances, all of these opportunities you've been going for, Taurus, they've just been blocked. You're just tired of everything being blocked. Now coming in though, what you'll find for some of you guys, there is an opportunity that's being presented to you with the Six of Coins energy showing here. But I think that what's being offered to you with this Six of Coins is for you to get with the Justice energy. You're justice in the work that you do. So somebody is recognising your value in the immediate future. Because there is a chance for you with the Justice energy to get what you deserve with the Justice energy for the work that you do. Somebody recognises that you're good. And they recognise that you have ability. And they recognise that you shouldn't be where you are, Taurus. And that you should be further along the field. And therefore, influence is coming in again. This person's communicating with you. Lots of messages, the Eight of Wands. Because of the chariot. There's now movement forward. And there's a, a really grounded opportunity with that. Four of Cups for you to consider. I don't think it will be the same opportunity, but I think it will be something different. Your problem is, well, what if this is going to take time to develop? Page of Swords energy. What if it takes a long time for me to hear back from this? Because I'm sure that there is somebody who's trying to keep me where I am. This King of Wands is looking to keep you with the devil energy where you are. They want to keep you enslaved. They want to keep you on the same level. They don't want to make you rise any harm. Any, they don't want you to rise any further in what you do. And that's why I feel kind of in this reading, Taurus, that some of you guys feel that you've got somebody against you where you work. Sorry about that. Some of you guys feel that you've got somebody against you where you work. Some of you guys don't trust. It's almost like you feel shit. You know, I have tried to get different opportunities where I work. But at every point I'm blocked. And I think you know the person that's blocking you. And it's this King of Wands, Akkad Emperor. I think. Because it's the King of it's the Emperor that's decreeing with the Page of Wands energy that further opportunities with the Wheel of Fortune are now blocked. And you're looking at the King of Wands, looking at the Devil. This person wants to entrap you. They want to keep you where you are. So that's why your fears are the Page of Swords. What if things take time? What if it takes a long time for me to hear back about this? Because there's somebody around me who wants to block me. However, the overall outcome from this opportunity, the Page of Co uh, Six of Coins energy that's being presented to you, this gift that's being given about justice in work. So the gift that's also being given is about an opportunity with the justice energy. It's about how you can get your justice, how you can get the rewards in terms of the work that you do. So how do I get further opportunities? 
from that, the overall outcome from that will be the Queen of Cups energy showing here. And the Queen of Cups energy, I feel, is somebody who's been very open with you and very honest, Taurus. And the honesty should be, I feel, looking at the cards, because I look at the tarot interactions as well, not just visually at cards, but also what, how are the cards interacting. What I'm looking at is this Knight of Swords energy. I think that somebody's being honest and opening up and they're saying, you should probably exit this. I don't know whether you should exit your job. You Maybe you should exit working on this project or looking at working at this project or looking at presenting yourself on this particular you know, opportunity because the Three of Coins is also about presenting the work that you do. So maybe you should exit with the Knight of Swords outside of it. It's not rushing into the Three of Coins. It's not pursuing it. It seems to be leaving it. So I think that somebody's honestly saying to you, actually, probably this is something that's not worth going for. I am seeing another opportunity coming to you guys, something for you to consider. And you've heard it down the grapevine, and somebody's getting in contact with you, and they're showing you this opportunity. They're presenting it to you. But the overall outcome from that as well is this Queen of Cups. And I think that this might be somebody, um, you know, who's really kind, really empathic, but also really honest. I'm really intuitive, possibly somebody who works in HR. I, I think it's a right hand person that you've got, somebody who's really got your back. And I feel that they're advising you with this Queen of Cups energy because the cup is open, so they're expressing something to you. I think the overall outcome, somebody's expressing to you that maybe you should exit that Three of Coins working on this situation, okay? Maybe because there are blockages with the Two of Swords to you moving forward in this with the Knight of Coins moving in there. You see, the Two of Swords is about a blockage, and this can be about plans. So the Knight of Coins is moving, and this is about work plans, work goals. Your goals might be blocked with the Two of Swords energy showing here. The Two of Swords, the Knight of, Knight of Coins is rushing towards that Two of Swords person, but she's blocked. So I think that somebody's going to be advising some of you guys by the end of September that really you should probably leave trying to get on a particular training course for some of you guys with the Three of Coins or trying to present your work uh, for a particular job with the Three of Coins energy because I think that somebody knows that all of your efforts with that Knight of Coins energy are going to be blocked with the Two of Swords. Uh, I do feel that there is, I'll be honest with you Taurus, I do feel for some of you guys, and some people call my readings negative, I'm not being negative, I'm just reading the cards how I see them, if I see something amazing I'll tell you that, and that's just how I am as a reader, I can't be anything more or anything less, all I can do is just read what I see, and it's not a negative spin, you know, I just feel that you guys are at a conundrum, you really are at a conundrum, what should I do, should I stay, should I go, because all of the opportunities that I've looked at, and, you know, I've been told about, and I've been waiting, and you can see here in the channel's position, you guys with that Nine of Wands energy have been waiting. But now you're deciding not to wait. You know, your challenge is the dream, the Page of Wands, Cups. Your challenge is training the Page of Cups. Your challenge is the dream, the Page of Cups. Energy showing here. Your challenge is to carry on dreaming, to carry on believing with that Page of Cups energy, because you've given up hope that you're ever going to get this new opportunity. Because that emperor is saying, all further opportunities, Wheel of Fortune, have now been blocked. They've been put on hold. You do have family around you that care about you and that will nurture you through this, and even work pals that will do that. But I feel that this Queen, this queen of Cups energy in the overall outcome is an insider. I think she knows more than you know. And this is why she's advising you. She's being honest and open, the Queen of Cups is. She's giving you the benefit of her own wisdom here, which suggests that she's an insider and she knows more than you think she does, or that you realise. And what she's telling you with the Queen of Cups, what the cup is telling you with the Queen of Cups energy, is that you should exit this project, or exit this opportunity to work on this project here, or on a particular project, because your endeavours with the Knight of Coins energy are being blocked with the Two of Swords. And it might be that they're being blocked because somebody's indecisive about you, they're not sure about you, or they just don't want you to get further. But I think that this person knows that you're being blocked. So my advice would be with this energy, um, 
I've often found that when you're consistently being blocked in a working situation, when you've been trying to better yourself, Taurus, but you're finding that you've got sabotages around you and people who don't want you to rise up in the ranks, it is just to wait it out a little bit just until new people come in, people that don't know you, people who are willing to give you the chance. But I just get the impression in this reading, Taurus, that there's somebody around you who doesn't want you to have a chance in the workplace. They don't want you to further yourself. They don't want you to be all that you can be and you're more than capable but this person is keeping you. This is why you're the two of wands. A little bit of a crossroads. Should you just stay where you are with the eight of swords? Never progressing in what you consider to be a prison. Or should you walk in a new direction towards something better with the eight of cups energy? There are opportunities that are being presented to you. But somebody knows that that will also be thwarted as well. So perhaps it's time either to look for something else. Or just to settle for what you have at the moment until something better comes along. Or until things change in the structure of where you work. All right, that's your reading for the month of September 2018. I would like to say, Taurus, thanks very much for joining me on Carol's Universe and have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.